We were here about five years ago to launch uh, the last generation, the fifth generation Elantra. This is the sixth generation 2017 uh, Elantra, which will go on sale in you know early uh, 16 calendar year. Uh, all new from the ground up. It's a little bit longer, a little bit wider. All new powertrains, fuel efficient, uh, two liter Atkinson cycle engine. Also available a little bit later after um, probably in the spring of 2016, uh, a 1.4 turbocharged GDI, uh, which will power our eco model, uh, which is forecast or estimated to get about 35 mpg combined uh, which is unsurpassed in the segment um, in addition to that a lot of uh, safety technology has been added uh, we've got blind spot detection which with rear cross traffic alert um, in all of our research whether it be internal or external um, be, blind spot detection is always one of the highest demanded features uh, of the safety suite and if you look at it globally of all the features available uh, it ranks up very high as well so happy to say blind spot detection will available on about half of the Elantras uh, out there. But then in addition to that, we also have automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, also lane keep assist, uh, smart cruise control, high beam assist, just a lot of these safety technologies that you would not expect to see in the compact segment just a short time ago uh, as everything comes down through our Genesis Sonata and now our Elantra uh, nameplates to take care of our customers and offer the safest uh, situation possible. Rear view camera seems to be uh, standard now in many vehicles, but all the technology that you just cited is still an option available, not part of a standard package. Yeah, absolutely. Not not standard, uh, available part as an option package. And you mentioned rear view camera. We actually added uh, dynamic guidelines to that for the all new car. So you can actually, when you steer, you can actually see exactly where it's intended, which I think it's a small thing, but it's kind of a customer delight. Um, expect Something you expect to see in, you know, higher spec, uh, more premium vehicles, things like that. We've also added Infinity uh, premium audio system. It's got eight speakers, including a center channel and a subwoofer. Um, just a host of new features added to uh, added to Elantra for for 17 model year. The Elantra and the Sonata kind of are going back and forth as to who's the volume leader I guess in the group. Both are doing very well. Uh, even Elantra now in its last year of its life cycle and this year uh, is doing extremely well. Some things we did we knew we were going into the last year, last year of the life cycle had to transition to this car. Uh, so things, some things we did with the product helped out so it's been a very successful year for both vehicles and we look forward to transferring to or transferring to this one uh, like I said in early 16. Yeah, the buzz of the show seems to be autonomous driving. You know, let the car do the driving and the driver sit back, or, or the passenger, I guess, he won't even be a driver. Yeah. Uh, and you guys are kind of headed in that direction as well as, as so many car companies. But when do you realistically think we're going to be able yeah, to sit back and let the car do the driving? Yeah, that's really hard to say. Somebody, especially with me, uh, I tend to be a driver, tend to be an enthusiast. I like to control that situation still. Uh, still give me a manual transmission when possible, that type of thing. You know, a lot of the features we're seeing, like the automatic emergency braking, like the smart cruise control, that's putting us in that direction. Um, it's the next step. Uh, it's, it's one of the steps in the whole process. But I think still a lot of things need to be sorted out. Um, uh, issues, laws, everything else um, to, full, to totally fully get to autonomous driving. Right, that's more of a safety net now than it is, but I mean, it's a pretty uh, significant safety net to have those uh, warnings and actually braking features. Right. Yeah, it's not just the warning, it's the actual active application of brake force, uh, like with the automatic emergency braking. It'll be a little bit light, and then depending on what it calculates as its closing distance, I mean, it will give you full emergency, full brake pressure uh, to help you stop in time before you inter uh, <coughs> impact a vehicle or pedestrian in front of you. So, yeah, it's no more, we've gone from warnings to actual active application of, of brakes and, and throttle technologies. So, I guess. Yeah, moving on down the line, maybe the passenger can just kind of sit there with nobody in the driver's seat. But uh, I don't know, still give me the driver's seat every time. In past auto shows, and Hyundai's been a leader in miles per gallon, that MPG being able to get great fuel efficiency. But now the price of gas is down. That's not really talked about much, is it? Yeah, it's still the number one purchase reason in the segment, and it has been for quite some time. Uh, you know, we got 33 combined estimated uh, on the SE with the 2-liter Atkinson, uh, up to that figure. It's still very important. Um, I think some of the price sticker shock of fuel prices that's gone up and down, everybody's a little bit less elastic to it. Um, but still, when you look at the data, it's still very important. It's almost expected now, so you, you have to have that fuel efficiency message.